Our focus for today's class is first principle differentiation or differentiation from first principle. They are still the same thing. The first principle differentiation. Let us consider a function y equals x raised to power 2. From the formula method, we know that dy dx is going to give us 2x raised to power 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2x. Now, let us check if we are still going to get the same answer if we use the first principle differentiation. They are supposed to give us the same answer if computed correctly. So, using the first principle differentiation. I'm going to give you some steps you can follow to solving problems on first principle. Step one is to increase both variables. Both variables. X and Y. Infinitesimally. That is, using a very small increase or change. So if we have the function y equals x squared, if I decide to increase x and y infinitesimally, I have y plus the y equals x plus the x all squared. This is our first equation. Let's call this equation 1. And what is the next step? Before we go to the next step, let us try to open this bracket. If we do that, we have y plus dy equals x plus dx times x plus dx. Now, if you do that, we have y plus dy is equal to x squared plus x dx plus x dx plus dx all squared. And this simplifies to y plus dy equal to x squared plus 2x dx plus the x all squared. Let us call this equation 2. This will take us to the next step, which is step 2. Step 2 is subtract y from both sides. Subtract y from both sides. And the reason is to make the small change or increase in y to stand alone. So if we do that, we have y plus dy minus y is equal to x squared plus 2x dx plus dx all squared minus y. So we can cancel out this, we cancel this, and we are left with dy is equal to x squared plus 2x dx plus dx all squared minus y. If you check, the value of y in this equation is x squared. So y equals x squared. If y equals x squared, then we can say that dy would definitely be equal to x squared plus 2x dx plus dx all squared minus x squared. If we do this, we realize that x squared will cancel minus x squared. And we have this cancels out. And our dy will be equal to 2x dx plus dx all squared. And the next step is to divide through by the small change in x. That is, divide through by dx. That's our, our third step. Step 3. Divide through by the x. If we divide through, we have the y over the x is equal to 2x two oh. dx plus the x all squared. All over the x, all over the x. This definitely cancels out. And this remains 1. So the y dx is equal to 2x plus the x. Now at this point, we have to look for the limit of 
the left hand side as the x tends to 0. This takes us to step 4. Take the limit of the left hand side as the x tends to 0. So this gives us lim the y over the x as the x tends to 0. And for this to be true, this will give us the full differential of the function. So the limit of the y dx as, x, as the x tends to 0 equals what we have over here. And for this to be true as well, it means that whatever value, whatever term that has the value dx on the right hand side tends to 0. For instance, if we consider the resulting function in step 3, we have it to be the y dx equals 2x plus the x. So we are going to work on this particular equation. This gives us dy dx will now be equal to 2x plus the x. Remember I said anything on the right hand side that still has the dx value or term will tend to 0. So this gives us automatically 0. And finally, the y dx is equal to 2x. Compare what we have here to what we have in our first slide. This over here. You realize that we have the same answer. So irrespective of the method you use to solve your differentiation problem or function, you're still going to get the same answer. But in most cases, whenever you're not specified to use a particular differentiation method, that is, if you're not specified to use first principle or formula method, it is advisable to use the formula method because it gives you the answer faster. This is where we we'll end it for today's class. So see you in our next class when we will discuss other complex problems on differentiation using the first principle. I can't wait to see you in our next class. Bye for now.